Hello. Okay, so I just barely got out of class. Um, and I'm on my way home to my apartment right now. Um, but I thought I would start before I got to my apartment just so I can get people on and kind of explain what we're talking about today. So let's... Also, everyone look at the clouds. They're so beautiful today. I'm crying. Oh my gosh. The clouds are gorgeous today. Um, so yeah, I am actually on my way to my apartment right now. We are on campus. Um, I just got out of art class, which is a two hour class. Um, but it's pretty fun. Honestly, I was a little tired today. <laughs> two hours is a long time to just sit there, but it's still a good time. Um, sorry, my hat's like gonna cover my eyes in a couple seconds. Hello, Ricky. What's up, guys? Salem. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'll try not to shake the camera too much, but I'm not good at that. Mohammed, I'm doing good. I'm actually really hungry right now. So heckin' hungry, so I'm on my way to go get some food. And you guys can join me. Sorry. I'm shaking so much. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in a chill mood today. Super hungry. So, we're gonna go get some food. And I will talk to you guys about how to have better English conversations, okay? Um, so yeah. Reese! Oh my goodness. Basim, Ikram, hello, hello, hello. Gosh, this hat is too big for me. <laughs> I like can't see what I'm looking up. Hello. Hi. Um, so yeah. I'm almost to my apartment guys we're almost there and then we can start our lesson i just thought i would go live um before i got to my apartment just so we can get people on so yeah it's a gorgeous day outside dang it where are those cool clouds um i'll try and show you some clouds oh my gosh guys it's so pretty the weather right now is so nice just everything is awesome. Am I an Arab? I'm not. I'm hung- yes, it's like one in the afternoon and I still haven't had lunch. Here guys, I'll show you the sky. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. So heckin' beautiful. Um, yeah. I'm gonna cross the road right now, so I gotta pay attention to the road! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, where am I from? I'm from the United States, and I currently live in the United States. Dang it, I could have crossed like 10 times. Guys, someday we will make it to my apartment, and we will be safe. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Umar, um, I am on my way back from class. I just got done with my class and now I'm going to my apartment and then we can talk about English stuff. Hello. Um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about how to have good conversations, um, which, and we're gonna address um, conversational anxiety because a few of you have talked about how you're too nervous to start a conversation or you're too nervous to talk to someone in English oh gosh and so we're going to talk about that today ways to overcome your fear of talking to people okay okay I'm gonna try and hold my hand straighter ah. G Margie hello Mohammed is eating right now actually can I have some of your food please <laughs> I'm probably just going to have a protein shake. That's my go-to. Um, good evening. Hat is for protection from the sun. Actually, hat is just because my hair is dirty. And I didn't want to try and figure out what to do. Woohoo! Okay, we made it. Okay, so I... Am I a smoker? I am not a smoker. I do not smoke. Oh my gosh. Wow, my backpack's heavy. Okay, do you guys want to see my backpack? It's super cute. So, 
Actually, it's it's pretty plain, but it's super cute because my sister did something cute on it. So let's look at it. So here's my backpack. Wow, my earphones are caught in it. Okay. So here's my backpack. See, it's just a plain black backpack. But then look. Look how cute that is. That's what my sister did. Isn't that so cute? Cute, cute, cute. Okay. I'm going to grab a protein shake and we will begin our lesson for today. Okay. Yes, we are going to begin. Um, actually, I might just go outside and talk. Because inside's kind of boring and you guys always see me inside. Okay. Hi, everyone! I'm so happy! Everyone's on right now. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, we are good. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of all over the place today. As I am every day, so nothing new. Um, Irfan. Ricky, hello, Shahid. Okay, sorry, I'm catching up on all the comments. Why am I walking to my apartment? So I can get some delicious sustenance for my stomach. Because I am a hungry boy. Okay. Hello from Jordan. Hello, Nasser. Atif. Hurricane Durian? I have not heard of the hurricane. I usually don't pay attention to what's going on the, in the world, which is kind of sad, but I don't, so I don't know anything about the hurricane. I hope everyone's okay. Okay, everyone, we are going to talk about how to get, how to have better conversations in English and how to get over your fear of starting a conversation in English, okay? So first of all, we're just going to talk about having, um, getting over your fear and starting a conversation in English. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few tips which will hopefully help. Sorry, I'm like trying to. <laughs> Abdullah, I walk to my apartment because it is pretty close and it's better to walk than drive because there aren't a lot of parking spots, so it's just better to walk. And it's super close, so. Um, yeah. So it's just a lot better that way. Um, right now I'm at my apartment. Okay. Um, okay. So here we go. How to get over the fear of starting a conversation in English. Okay. Is everyone listening? Sorry. I feel like my head's kind of shaded. Okay. So the first one is just to be friendly. Relax. Smile. Okay? When you're talking to someone, you just want to be happy. Be relaxed, because this will definitely help you with overcoming your fear. If you just smile and be happy when you're speaking to someone, that will help you so much if you're nervous about talking to someone. Okay? Um, and also, it makes the conversation a lot better because the other person will want to talk to you because you're happy and smiling. Okay? Because we don't usually we don't want to talk to people who are frowning and angry all the time, right? Okay, so just be friendly, relax, smile, and just go into a conversation with a positive attitude, okay? So take a deep breath before you start and then just go for it, man. I mean, the best way to get better at speaking English is just to go for it. Um, yes, confidence is important, Abdu, that is perfect. Speak loud. Can you guys hear me? Okay, maybe I'll go like this. It is kind of windy outside. Um, oh no, Abdullah, you're totally fine. Yeah, I, it's super close to where I live. I live right next to the university. Um, please tell us why it's considered bad to dress up in America. It's not bad to dress up in America. I don't know what you're talking about. We like to dress up. I like to dress up. It's fun. Um, Goose from Western Sahara, welcome. Today we are talking about talking and how to have better conversations in English, how to start conversations in English if you're nervous. So we just talked about being friendly. 
So that was the first thing to help um, start a conversation if you're afraid of it, okay? The second thing is to take, to get rid of your pressure, okay? So don't, when you go into a conversation, you shouldn't have specific expectations from that conversation, okay? So you shouldn't be expecting every conversation to go amazing or you shouldn't expect every conversation to end horribly. You should just go into a conversation without any expectations and whatever happens, it happens, okay? Sometimes, um, I'm sure this happens with everyone, that, that sometimes when you're talking to a stranger, the conversation goes really great. You're really able to connect with the person and understand with what they're saying. And then other times, it's hard to understand what they're saying or it's hard to communicate what you're thinking, okay? So it just happens. Um, it really does depend on who you're talking to and just the whole situation. But the big thing is to just don't worry about it. Don't stress about what you're going to say. Um, so just get rid of the pressure. And that will help you with your nervousness or your fear of starting a conversation. Okay. Um, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to see if there's any questions, because I love questions. My students have problem talking in public. What is the solution? Okay, so Abdu, that is actually, I think it's actually like one of the biggest fears of people is just public speaking, um, which is, it is scary. I'm not going to lie. It's not fun to speak in front of people. Um, so one thing that works for me is before I'm giving a speech or I'm giving a talk in front of a lot of people, um, I like to envision how I think the talk is gonna go. So, um, so I like to think of myself giving the talk to people and usually that helps me because I already am thinking through the whole scenario and the whole situation. Um, and so I know like when I need to pause or when I need to emphasize words. Um, so that's something that helps me. Again, everyone is different, so just find what works for you, but that is something that helps me, is just to vision, um, just think about the situation and try and imagine yourself giving the presentation, okay? And then another thing is I like to, whenever I have a speech, I give the speech in front of a mirror, so it's like I'm giving it to myself, and I just read through it over and over and over again, just so I somewhat memorize what I'm going to say, but then also... Um, so I know, again, where to pause and where to emphasize words, um, and yeah, and then another thing is to get used to looking up, so if you have a paper, make sure you look up and look at the audience, make eye contact, that will definitely help with public speaking. Um, Americans at work think it's weird for a man to wear a tie. Hmm. It depends on what job you have, for sure. Some jobs do require you to dress up more professionally. They do require a suit, um, and other jobs do not require that. So, for example, the job that I worked for over the summer, it was, it, I worked for a business that on certain days they would require everyone to dress up because there was a special event going on, but then other days we could just wear whatever we wanted, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all about the flow, happy man. Thanks for your comment. Flow like water, my friends. Happy man, you're awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we, t yeah. So Ricky said, yeah, go into conversations without expecting the outcome. Okay, so um, let's see. Did I have something else after that? Okay, so the third tip um, is to understand that the world does not resolve or revolve around you, okay? So when I say the world does not revolve around you, that just means everything is not about you, okay? So when you're talking to someone, you don't want the conversation to be all about yourself, okay? In fact, I would discourage talking about yourself at all, especially when you're first meeting someone. I would just try and get to know them, okay? I wouldn't be focused on myself at all unless they ask me questions. Does that make sense? Um, so that's very useful because especially when you go into a conversation and you just talk about yourself, the other person that you're talking to won't really care, you know? They won't really want to listen because you're just talking about their, yourself, okay? 
we are all selfish beings. We all care about ourselves. Um, and so give the other person a chance to talk about themselves because that will open up more of a conversation and that will make the other person enjoy talking to you as well, okay? Because whenever I have conversations with someone and they just talk about yourself, I get bored, honestly. If they just sit there and talk about their whole life and everything about them, I, it honestly does kind of get boring. So make sure you don't just focus on yourself, that you're also asking questions and being engaged in what the other person is saying, okay? Um, there's a lot of, there's a club where I used to go. I can meet a lot of Americans and British sometimes. So when I want to talk to them, I really feel weird because I don't know if they like to talk to me. So I don't know how to be their friends. So can you help me? Um, so for that comment, Tend, I would just recommend being yourself and to be real, okay? Because um, if they do want to be your friend and you are real, then you guys can be friends instead of trying to fake. I don't know. I don't know. Just be honest. Be sincere. Be nice. Be happy. That's what, that's the advice I would give for that situation. If you believe in yourself your and your ability, you can handle conversation easily. Perfect. How many years have you studied? Um, I know my cap is very big. It's like falling down. <laughs> I have to like keep scooting it up. I should probably tighten it. That'd be a good idea. Um, how many years have I been studying English? My whole life, dude. I have studied English ever since I was a tiny little kid because I am a native English speaker. So we have English classes every year. Oh, I could do a lesson about adverbs. I'm good at English, but I'm hesitating to talk to others. Okay, so what we just are talking about right now can help you with that. Okay, um, so we just talked about how the world does not revolve around you. So don't focus on yourself when you're speaking to someone. Um, number four, the fourth tip I have for this is to be honest. Okay, so when you're talking to someone, be honest. Don't lie and talk about your crazy rich uncle that you don't have, okay? Because that's stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you lie in a conversation? I mean, just don't, okay? Just don't lie because then people are can trust you and life is just so much better if you are an honest person, okay? Um, number five um, is to avoid closed loop questions. Okay, so closed loop questions, another way of saying is yes and no questions. Okay, so avoid, so try not to ask someone a yes or no question because you can ask it, um, instead try and think of open loop questions or questions that keep the conversation going. Okay, so here's an example. So here is a closed loop question. Do you like chocolate ice cream? Okay? You can only say yes or no in that question. Okay, That's a yes or no question. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Okay, Period. That's where the conversation ends. But if you want to keep the conversation going and ask an open loop question, you can say, what's your favorite ice cream? Okay, And then they can say, oh, well, mine's chocolate. It's the best. And then you can be like, cool, why do you like chocolate? You know, and um, it's just so much better because it provides a way of continuing on the conversation instead of just saying yes or no, okay? Does that, does that make sense? Um, English in our mind is huge thing, but when we wanna talk, we said the small thing. So what should we do for better, to better that situation? In our mind, it's a huge thing, but when we talk, we said the small thing. Sabir, I'm not sure I completely understand your question. Um, could you try rephrasing your question and I can read it and try and answer it? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're trying to ask. I have problem with connected words and sentences. I mean prepositions. What is your suggestion? Um, ooh, a good suggestion I have is to read books. Um, especially books with a lot of dialogue um, because then that will get you used to knowing how to connect words and sentences, 
how to use prepositions um, because you're reading books all the time, okay? Especially English books with dialogue. So um, with people talking to each other in the book can definitely help with that. Um, okay, I'm drinking a protein shake. Yummy. Okay, this drink is healthy. <laughs> it's literally just protein. Okay. Gazi, I'm trying to read everyone's comments. What's the weather? It's sunny. There's a few clouds. Super nice. Um, so let's see. Hello. Sorry, I will speak slower. English in our mind is a huge thing, but when we want to talk, we said to small thing. So what should we do for better that situation? Dude, in our mind, it's a big thing. Oh, so maybe like you overcomplicate it in your mind. Is that what you're thinking? I think. But when we want to talk, it's a small thing. Oh, so, oh, so I think it, I think what you're trying to say is that you overcomplicate things in your mind, but it's honestly, it's a lot simpler than you think to speak English. I think that's what you're trying to say. Um, so just like I said before, I would, because a lot of the times it is scary to talk to people and to try and think of what to say in a different language, especially if it's not your native language. Um, and so again, I would just focus on relaxing and just trying to be friendly and enjoy the conversation as much as you can, okay? Because um, the more you think about trying to sound good in your English, the harder it will be to speak English. So just relax, take a deep breath and speak, okay? Me and my ESL instructor friends are waiting to talk to you. Abdu, I can try and bring you on. Is grammar important to speak English? Um, basic grammar is, yes, but it's not something that you should focus all of your energy on, okay? You shouldn't worry about grammar the whole time when you're trying to learn English. I would just worry about how to speak English and how to have good conversations um, because I've said this before but us Americans we do not really worry about grammar when we're speaking to each other um, so I I wouldn't worry about that I would worry about learning idioms and phrases that us Americans use because that will help you be able to speak to English speakers better um, First live from Mohammed Saidi. Saidi? What is the difference between American accent and British accent? Um, I, one big difference is the way we say our R's. So British people, they don't pronounce their R's and we do. Um, or, or, or they say their R's differently, I should say. My English is very clear, while other Americans use very slang. Oh, thanks. But also, I do try and speak more clearly when I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> can you drive a car? I can drive a car. Am I behind the idea of hollow? I am not. That has definitely been in June. Mohammed, welcome. First time. Sweet. Um, yeah. Okay, so next thing that we're talking about, oh yeah, so we just talked about closed loop questions. Um, so again, don't ask yes or no questions when you're trying to have a good conversation and to keep a conversation going, because again, that will most likely lead to the conversation ending. Um, so now we're gonna talk about having a conversation and continuing a conversation, okay? Um, Yes, I am a native speaker. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to read everyone's stuff.
Costa. Sorry guys, right after I get over these points, then we can bring people on, okay? But there are still many movies and books I can't understand. Okay, so here we are going to go over a few ways to start a conversation and to keep it going, okay? So to start a conversation, so let's say you just go up to someone or you see someone by themselves and you're like, hey, I should go and talk to that person, okay? So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to begin a conversation with someone in English, um, particularly with someone you don't know, okay? So the number one thing is just to find, to think of a good question to ask, okay? So when you go up to someone, you just want to think of a simple question. So like if there's a seat open next to them, you could say, hey, is anyone sitting here? And if they say no, you could say, do you mind if I sit here? Okay, so that is a simple way to just begin talking to someone, to begin a conversation, okay? It's just to look around and try and think of a question you could ask. Or you could say, do you know how long this store is open? So if you guys are in a store, you could ask, do you know how long this place is open? Or what time this place closes? Um, or you could ask for directions to some place. You could ask... Um, yeah, so those, those are just a few examples on questions that you can ask to initially begin the conversation, okay? And these can just be super simple, everyday questions, okay? Um, or you can even ask about something that the person has on them, okay? So like their hat, you could say, hey, that's a nice hat. Where did, do you mind if I ask, where did you get it, okay? Um, again, it's just a good way to begin the conversation. Um, and then after that, the second thing is to start elaborating on the topic, okay? So if you're talking about, um, so if you're talking about the hat, you could say, hey, that's a nice hat. Um, and then they say, thank you. And then you can say, well, where did you get it? And then they can tell you what store they got it from. And then you can say, I'm actually looking for a hat. Do you know if there's any other colors available? Um, and then you can just talk about hats for a little bit, okay? Um, and then another thing, yeah, so to provide context is another good thing. So after you ask your questions, you could ask, oh, that's a cute dog, what's his name? Or um, what kind of dog is that? Is that dog easy to care for? And these are all good questions. And then you could provide context after asking those questions and say, I'm actually asking because I'm looking to find a dog, or I'm trying to figure out what the best dog to get is, okay? Um, so those are some tips. Okay. Do you have some days of drinking beer? Nope. Hello. Um... Oh, sorry, everyone, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Haley. Um, I am a native English speaker, and I live in the, in the United States, so that is me. Am I going to storm Area 51? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Dude, I want to. Does everyone know what Area 51 is? Um, so there's been a lot of crazy, there's been a lot of, people going crazy about Area 51 because that apparently everyone thinks is where the, the U.S. keeps aliens. Um, so I think it's on September 21st. There's like a big group going to go and apparently storm Area 51 and try and see if they can find the aliens. Sorry. Um, I have not signed up to go storm Area 51. <laughs> I'm sorry. I actually have something else planned on that day so I will have to miss it. Um, okay. Do you think sarcasm is a good way to make friends with Americans? Yes, well, for me it is. I, a lot of the times I am a very sarcastic person and a lot of my friends are sarcastic as well, but you have to be careful because there are some type of, there are people who do not understand sarcasm and so that might be the wrong way to start a conversation, okay? Is it still windy? 
I, oh yeah, I kind of feel a light breeze. It's not really windy, but you guys can probably hear it because of the speaker. Okay. Um, today I see you in a bad situation. You don't look happy today. Why? I am happy. I'm a little tired and hungry, but I'm good. Okay. Yeah, it's forbidden to, sto to go to Area 51, but they're getting a big group to go. Suggesting to use it in a guy that I want. Okay. What is an appropriate way to talk to disabled people in the US? Um, that's a good question, but I just talk to them like they're normal people, honestly, because I'm sure they don't like to be treated any differently than we would, so just be normal. Like, talk to them as you would anyone else. Okay, my name is Haley. I am an English teacher for Hollow, and I think that is everything. Oh, and then the last thing is just to keep asking questions, okay? Because if you want to keep a conversation going, um, you just need to keep asking questions, okay? And be interested in what they're saying and really listen to what they're saying so you can ask follow-up questions, okay? Um, and that is just a good way to go. So we will now talk to a couple people today um, and then I sadly I do have to go and do other things because it's super busy today. Okay, so who would like to speak with me today? We can have a conversation and practice all the things that we learned today. So if you want to speak, please share this video and then comment down if you shared the video and then we can bring you on, okay? I am from the United States, for those of you who are asking. Um, so yes, please comment down below if you guys would like to speak today. Oh, um, I was going to talk to Ab Abdul, let's see, um, okay, looks like we have some. Okay. Hello. 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 I have a question about English. Yes. What is your question? Um, in U.S., is it is it appropriate to address man or woman by Mister or Mrs.? Yes, that is perfectly okay. In fact, All right. if you don't know their name, that's how you usually would talk to someone to say excuse me, mister, or you could say, sir, excuse me, sir, um, if you're talking about a man, um, and then you could say, excuse me, miss, or excuse me, ma'am, that's another thing that we would say is ma'am, um, if we're talking about a woman, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good question. Um, do you mind? Thank you for your answer. Yeah, do you mind introducing yourself real quick? Uh, yes, my name is Archibald, and I come from Frankfurt in Germany. Ooh, that's awesome, dude. I actually have a friend who, dang it, I forgot where he lived, but he he's from some part in Germany, I think. Dang it, I forgot where. But yeah, that's awesome, dude. Cool, cool. Do you have yes. Um, is it common in America to go on weekend to see a, a cinema film? Uh-huh. It is, it is common. Um, not so much anymore because we can actually watch movies on our TVs now and we can rent movies. Um, so I, we don't go to the theater as often I wouldn't, unless there's like good movies coming out. But yeah. I would say so. Uh -huh. We'd, we would either go to a movie theater or we would just m watch a movie at home. So yes, so that is super common. Oh, I see. What about in Germany? What's common 
what are common things to do on the weekends in Germany? Um, I think in Germany, a lot of people just prefer going outdoors with friends or perhaps uh, watching Netflix. That's a very <laughs> common uh, enjoyment. Yes, Netflix is the best. I uh -huh. totally agree. Well, cool. Um, so uh, is it common in the United States to travel far distances? It's quite a, a big country. Yes. Um, yes, because a lot of the times we have family members that live in different states across the United States. Um, and so for me, the reason why I usually travel to different states is because I'm visiting my grandma or my aunt or uncle. Um, so yes, it is pretty common to travel or just for um, vacation. We like to travel, um, go visit the ocean or cool sites. So, uh -huh. yeah. Well, can, yes. I ask, can I ask the same question to you? Is it common to travel around Germany? Um, it's pretty common in some instances to maybe travel to other parts of Europe, mm -hmm. um, maybe on a vacation. There were lots of people like to go to Italy and Spain to warm climates. Cool. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to go to Spain or Italy. That would be so cool. Have you been? Um, I've been to Greece and it was a very enjoyable trip. Oh my gosh, and Greece. Dude, uh -huh. those are all the places I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. You need to come to Europe and you can do a live stream from there. Heck yes, that would be awesome. Yeah. Once I save up the money, I totally will. <laughs> All right. And okay. uh, yes, thank you for having me on. I'll let someone else get in line now. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you for your questions. Yes, likewise. Have yourself a nice day. Thank you. You as well. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. What a nice guy. Okay, let's see if we can find... Um, I think it was... Ab was that... Abdul How can I memorize more English vocabulary? Yousef, that is a good question. Um, and it just depends on how you memorize things. For me, how I would memorize different vocabulary is to write it down. So write the word down and then write the um, explanation down or the definition, and then to also draw a picture if you can. That helps me to memorize words. Um, and some other people, it, you may need to sing a song about it, or um, again, drawing pictures is another common way to remember words. But yeah, it just, it really does depend on how you memorize things. So um, yeah, it's different for everyone. Medrida, you are totally fine. Woohoo! Okay, sorry. Have I seen Lion King in 3D? I have not. I have not even seen Lion King at all. But I may see it. I don't know. My family went and saw it and they said it wasn't the greatest movie. So I don't know. Dara, I'm not talking to a girl because there aren't really any girls. Lion King was a big deal here. Uh, Lion King wasn't as big a deal here in the U.S. I don't know. I haven't heard many people who have seen it. I, yeah, like I said before, my family went and saw it, and it wasn't their favorite movie, so. But I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. I, can't, I guess I can't say. Um. Okay. Sorry, guys. Can you camera with me please because Yazan I don't it won't let me bring you on okay Darby just started a challenge where he learns 10 new words every day dude that is a great challenge and I highly recommend it if you guys want to learn vocabulary um, then that is a great way to do so Do I have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Do you sing up for space for humanity? I have no clue what that means. 
woman go in front of us? Oh my gosh, should we let women go in front of us in grocery store line at checkout? Yes, that is the polite thing to do. Yazan, it won't let me bring you on, my friend. I don't know why. Um, what's my Facebook name? It is Haley Hollow. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to bring so many people on, but it's not letting me. Dang it. Okay, sorry, guys. We'll just bring someone random. Abe. Oh, I think I've spoken to you before. Woohoo! A fly decided to come and join me. Okay. Will you offer writing assessment ses session? I don't know how I could do a writing assessment with so many of you guys, but I can think about it and I can try and figure out something. Hi guys from Sudan, delightful to be with you. Welcome. Okay, that person, gosh guys, I'm sorry. I wish this was a lot easier, but I kind of just have to bring on people. Some people work. Can't bring Azad on. What about Baran? Baran. Hopefully someone will work, okay? Um, you teacher Mariana didn't like the movie either, but it was incredible to see how technologies were. Hello. Hello. How's it going, man? I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, great. A pretty girl, thank you. How was going live? How is going live? It's been good so far. Yeah, it how's, sounds interesting. How's your day been so far? Um, actually, it was good because I went to the exercise and I went to work out too much running. So <laughs> my, my day is too much interesting. Wow. I like exercise. Yeah. Wow. I definitely need to exercise more. <laughs> I used to exercise all the time, but... Ever since I started college, I have not been able to as much. So I need to get actually, back into it. Actually, what? me too. I finished my college before two months, so I started I started exercise. That's oh, really? In two weeks, I started. Okay. So hopefully yeah. I, can, I can figure out something. Yeah. What's your topic? And now I joined your live video what's your topic you are talking about what so today we we're just talking about how to have better conversations in english and also how to overcome the fear of beginning a conversation with someone so i gave some tips and some tricks on how to do that um mm. so yeah what in so can i ask first how long have you been um speaking english or learning english Actually, I was a student at English department, but I didn't study too much. But um, that's true, been to one year um, studying. Nice! And I'm improving my English language with the Facebook and with the American people and Messenger, and it was helped me too much to improve my English language. Uh, Sweet. My camera. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because uh, speaking with the native, it's improving too much. Then it's better than the handout, the handout, and it's bothering. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, most time I'm I'm speaking with the American people, so I have a lot of American people friends. Nice. Um, yeah. So, so when you were first starting to learn English, um, was it scary for you to begin conversations mm. with people? Was that something that you were nervous about, or was it fine? Um, actually, why I called you and I have a question. My big problem is uh, all time I forget the vocabulary when I'm memorizing, but I forget sometimes. So I don't know what is the solution. <laughs> what is the best solution for the um, remember vocabulary? Yeah, I actually, yeah, I just, someone else actually asked the question a few minutes ago. But um, so I would just think, because everyone memorizes things in different ways. Um, but the biggest thing is to make a connection somehow in your brain um, to the word and what it means. So for me, how I make that connection is I would write down the word and the definition, 
and then I would try and draw a picture that related to the word, okay? Um, and then a lot of the times I would even write down the word and the definition over and over again, because for me, writing it down and looking at it and reading it, all of those really does help cement the word in my brain. Um, but again, everyone's different. Everyone has their own style of memorizing. Um, and so I would just find something that works for you. So however you memorize things, I would apply that to learning vocabulary. Does that make sense? So, so do you need, do you need to memora, uh, memora, uh, remember the vocabulary? Because you are native, so you don't need that thing to remember the vocabulary. <laughs> I, oh, sorry. I was just talking about like in school classes, mm. we do have to memorize mm. vocabulary for different terms. Mm. So for like science. So that's how I do it. But I'm sure it applies the same for English. So mm. I will do it. I will do Sweet. it. Write down the notebook and uh, drawing the picture of that vocabulary and put it on the wall. Sweet. I think the best, yeah. Yeah. The best I like way that. To, I will do it. Thank you. It, actually, it's, it's a good information for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, let me know if it works, man. And are you looking... Uh, actually, as I told you, I finished college before two months, but uh, still I'm jobless now. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. But maybe I will be a teacher after after one month. Maybe. But Dude, I don't like too much. <laughs> that'd be so awesome. Teach English? An English teacher? Yeah. Dude, that'd be English awesome. English teacher, but don't like it. And uh, I'm trying to find another work. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit bothering. Yeah. I don't like too much. Yeah. And I trying to find, to find work another is hard. Work. Yeah, dude, I hope you find a good job too. I, I, never so asked, I never asked your name or where you're from. Do you mind hurrying and introducing yourself? Oh. Yeah, my name is Baran. Mm -hmm. It means rain. It means Baran. rain. And yeah. And I'm from uh, south of Kurdistan, Iraq. Nice. I'm Kurdish man. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't know. Have you heard about the Kurdish? Kurdistan or Kurdish people? A little bit. Yeah, I've talked to a few Kurdish people. I don't know much, though. Yeah, actually, it's a big story. Talking yeah. about this, no. it is uh, uh, for one one hundred years ago. It is divided four part, one part in Iraq and Syria and Turkey and Iran. So I'm in the part of the uh, Iraq. Okay. Yeah. And are you living which which state? Um. All I can say, just for privacy reasons, is the United States. Uh, yeah, sorry. I can't really say specifically what state. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry oh, about that, it's man. It's okay. No, it's okay. Because, um, actually, we are, we are here for the learning English language, not for the asking a personality question. I'm sorry I made a mistake. <laughs> hey, you're totally fine, dude. It's all good. Yeah. All good. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, uh, I hope uh, I close it uh, for the next one to speaking, and I didn't want to waste your time, and I will I will give it my time for another one to speak in English language. Okay, sweet. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Baran. I hope you have an amazing afternoon. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet ya. you. Thank you so much. See you Bye. again. Oh gosh, everyone's so nice. So e-teacher Mariana said, I remember things better when I see practical usages for them. So I visualize mental images with that vocabulary being used and force myself to use it. That is a good tip. So yeah, another way to memorize stuff is to visualize what it means and to visualize mental pictures. So what I do is I like to write it down and draw stuff out, but she is more of like a visual mental thinker, okay? Okay. Hey. Um, okay, let me see if we have any more questions. Nadia, let's speak. And then this can be our last person for today, okay? Because I have a lot of things to do today. Hello. Hello. Yay. 
Hello, how are you? Oh, <laughs> finally, I'm so happy. Woo! <laughs> I'm doing so good. Yeah. How are you guys? Oh, fine. What about uh, you? Oh, good. I'm doing great. Do you guys want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I, me, I'm a mom of this girl. Yeah. I'm 45 years old. I'm from Morocco. Nice. And we live in France. Yes, we live in France. Oh, fun. Oh, no. Hey, Nadia. I think the connection is kind of bad right now. Is it better now? Do you hear me now? So bad. Hello? Sorry, it's kind of cutting out a little bit, so I can hear half of what you're saying. I hope it gets fixed. Can you guys hear what I'm saying? Dang it, I think the connection is bad. Dang it. Nadia, no, I really wanted to talk to you guys. Dang it. Can you guys hear me? Dang it, guys, I'm so sorry. The connection is really bad, so I can't hear what you guys are saying. We can try again another, oh, dang it, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, we'll try, Nadia, we'll try again another time, okay? Um. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes the connection doesn't work, and so we just have to try again another day, okay? Um, anyways, I have a lot to get done today, so I gotta go and get working on that. But it was so great to talk to you guys, and I really do hope that this helped you. Um, in fact, I hope that you guys can go on the Holo app today and actually practice what we talked about today, because these are all very useful tips in having a better English conversation, okay? So I would encourage you guys to... Again, go on the Holo app, practice everything that we learned today, and then let me know how it, how it worked, okay? And if you were able to improve with your conversations, okay? Um, because I do love to hear about your guys' progress. It makes me happy every time I read a comment that says something about how you improved your English from this, okay? Um, so I really hope this works and this helps you guys in any way, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of what else to say. I think that's it, guys. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, probably around the same, actually tomorrow I will be doing a video in the morning, okay, so I will do, um, it will be at a different time, but I will, I will give you guys a heads up before I go live. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, see you tomorrow.